Hello and welcome to this video where we are telling you all about root cause testing with the bioresonance scan. My personal favorite way to test root cause lately, I've been loving it and my clients been having so many great results from it. I am Jacqueline Renee, holistic health coach and gut health expert. And this is Luna, my dog, she'll be joining us. All right, so let's dig in. What is a bioresonance scan, okay? So the bioresonance scan is a comprehensive bioenergetic hair and saliva analysis. So you'll be doing a swab of the mouth and then using some of your hair for the sample. Now, if you don't have hair or you're too worried about cutting some out, then you can use nail clippings. This type of testing falls into the holistic health realm, okay? So not Western medicine, not even functional medicine. We don't do blood, we're not doing um, extensive lab work, but this is off of your DNA from your hair and saliva samples. And what this specifically will do is to help you address these complicated health systems that you have not been able to get to the root cause of. Now there's a lot of stress and tension in the body, there's a lot of uh, mold, mycotoxins and disease that gets stored up, and this can manifest and look like different things like IBS or SIBO or Crohn's, but it's really, really related to these root cause. And so this test has been able to help a lot of my clients get to the bottom of it. Now let's dig in. What symptoms is this test good for? What person is struggling with these symptoms can have relief from understanding this test? Chronic bloat. This is the number one thing I see in my business. Most often clients come to me dealing with chronic bloat even if they are eating healthy and bloat happens no matter what they eat. Now often people jump immediately to SIBO but that's not always the case. There can be a bacterial Im imbalance or a parasite, so we gotta dig deeper. Constipation. If you are not pooping, you are not eliminating your toxins, your bad bacteria, and they can cycle in and create more disease. So we need to figure out what the root cause of this is and get you going to the bathroom every day, if not twice a day, to move your toxins. Chronic diarrhea. Now, if you've been dealing with diarrhea on and off long term, there's a chance you're nutrient deficient or you're not absorbing any of your vitamins or nutrients. We need to understand where the stress is coming from to help resolve it, increase energy and absorption so you're not feeling tired, feeling fatigued and dehydrated from all of the diarrhea. Heartburn is another big one. Acid reflux and heartburn are indications of one thing low stomach acid and if you have low stomach acid it can be near impossible for you to break down proteins and fats so we want to figure that out and get you producing more stomach acid here are some other related symptoms to gut disease that you could be experiencing that are heavily rooted in the gut acne People think that it's topical or that it's always hormonal, but if your gut is off, you could be experiencing acne, maybe cystic acne, maybe even on your back, not just your face. This is related to the gut. Chronic fatigue, this, this fog that you're under where you feel like you can't get motivated, can't get out of bed. Again, rooted back in gut disease. Depression, anxiety, mood disorders, related to the gut because of the brain-gut connection. They are directly connected and they they manage, they take care of everything when it comes to your energy and your mood. And so if the, the gut is off, you are definitely going to experience mood disorders. Headaches, weight gain, weight loss resistance. It can be near impossible to lose weight when you're experiencing gut issues. So we really want to get to the point of the root so we can get you losing weight in a sustainable long-term way. Psoriasis, eczema, skin issues, absolutely very rooted in gut disease and autoimmune, yeast infections, bacterial overgrowth, and last but not least, a weak immune system, meaning you get sick a lot. That's rooted in gut disease as well. All right, so let's look over what the test scans for. Now the test I have cut out is from a Jane Doe, and it's basically like a sample report so you can see what it might look like. Now we test 14 different systems. These are the systems you have from hair, skin, and nails, nervous system, metabolism, blood, everything is tested. And so what we wanna see is everyone in the 100% or 80%. But a lot of people will come up with 60, 40, 20%, and those are the points that we're going to be focusing on first. Also, if at any point you wanna read through everything I have on the screen, just simply pause the video, go ahead, read, and then you can play to keep going. Well, let's see here, energetic sensitivities. This is very important because so many people will say that they have food sensitivities, 
cut that food out and then never include it back into their diet. And this is, excuse me, not the way to heal your gut because now you're just triggered and not eating these foods. However, there are foods when you are inflamed that can cause more inflammation and be a root cause of what's going on. So we do test the sensitivities, we see what comes up, we eliminate them for a period of 30 to 60 days, and hopefully then you have healed a lot and gotten to the root cause so you can start to include these things back in your diet again. Nutritional imbalances, vitamin deficiencies, if you're low in amino acids or enzymes, minerals is a huge one. Maybe you're not absorbing them. We will be able to tell through the nutrient imbalances and know that if we can get your body to absorb these, you will see a huge difference in your body and your gut very quickly. The next thing and the most important thing that it tests for is resonating toxins, okay? So you look at things like bacterial overgrowth, heavy metals, parasites, chemicals, mycotoxins, maybe even dormant virus, autoimmune, um, excuse me, Epstein-Barr from when you were a kid or anything. This is the us peeling back the layers and getting to the outermost layer of the onion and starting to peel them back to get to optimum wellness. We need to know these things. And this is absolutely, absolutely where things like SIBO, IBS, IBD, colitis and Crohn's come from. If you look deeper, the root cause is always here. It also tests, which is amazing for hormonal imbalances. We'll be able to see if you are being affected by high estrogen or maybe low testosterone, maybe it's low progesterone, whatever it is, we'll be able to add this included in into what's going on and therefore you will be able to get relief on both gut and hormones all in one, it encompasses all in one. So how do we test? Like I mentioned in the beginning, we do a saliva and a hair analysis. Very simple, you just put them in the bag and send them out. The results take about two to three weeks to return. After we see the test results, I will review them and formulate our action plan. Then I have you book your session so we can review it all. That's where we talk about the plan of action moving forward, the phases we're gonna go through. And sometimes I do retest in two to three months to make sure there's progress and we're getting results. Come on. <laughs> All right, so let's just go over test pricing because, oops, I'm sorry, we skipped ahead a little bit. Give me a second. So test pricing, now here's the thing. You have to be a JRW client to receive testing with me. I do not just throw out the test for people or have them order it if they're not working with me one-on-one -on -one because it's an information overload and then you'll end up doing patchwork healing and you'll be in the same place you're in which is frustrated and overwhelmed and not trying to understand what's going on in your body on a deeper level. This test is actually included, actually two of these tests are included in my one-on-one 90-day -on -one holistic gut system program. The first test and the retest so that we can really watch you over the course of 90 days and really get you to the highest optimal health we can with your gut. Now, if you decide to become a group program client, it's an additional 550 on top of the group program client cost. And then if you're a Jumpstart client, which is only something I offer to one or two people a month, given the opportunity that I have space in my schedule, um, which I am booking out for December for this, then it's an additional 550 as well. So basically what I'm trying to say is you have to be a JRW client first, and it's either included in your program if you're a high level one-on-one -on -one, uh, program, or if you're in a group, then it is just an additional 550, and you get that hour session to go over everything inside the program in addition to what you're already receiving, okay? Last slide here. Now, if this testing sounds like what you have been missing to get to the root cause, just respond back to this message with I'm in and I will send you your next steps. Thanks so much for viewing this video and hanging out with me. I hope it has been informative. Please feel free to ask any questions in our messaging app at any time. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.